From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The death toll rising to 50 in the New Zealand mosque attacks. Tonight we're learning more about those victims, a Syrian refugee and his sons sons among those slain as the suspect faces a judge for the first time. This attack on Muslims also rocking other religions for the first time. Synagogues across New Zealand will close for temple. Plumes of smoke as a fire engulfs a Polk County home. The fire on Duncan Avenue sending one person to the hospital and the family sadly lost four cats in the fire. Crews say the fire sparked on the porch. That home is now considered uninhabitable, displacing the two people who live there. Investigators are working to find the cause. Grieving families are given dirt from the Ethiopian plane crash site to bury their loved ones. Families are being given sacks of earth to bury in place of the remains of their loved ones. This because the identification process is going to take such a long time. Forensic DNA work could take six months to identify everyone. A mass memorial is planned for Sunday in Addis Ababa. A nursing home attendant behind bars for allegedly taking advantage of those she's supposed to take care of. Sandy police say Kamika Jackson used a victim's credit card at Egret Cove Nursing Home. Police say she used it to pay for her boyfriend's electric bill. All right, well, temps are set to dip Saturday night. Here's Jason Adams with your forecast. Yeah, we've got some 50 showing back up for areas north of Interstate 4 as you wake up tomorrow morning with 60s for high temperatures for Crystal River and Brooksville. That's about it. So the cold air is going to come in tonight. Now it's not going to make it much more south of I-4. So look at the temperature difference from north to south tomorrow. A good 15 degrees warmer here from Mayaka City over to Lake Placid. Even Sarasota still sitting into the mid-70s, while Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater will be in the low 70s. And then again, some 60s for those of you up north. It's going to be cloudy. And we're also looking at a 30% chance for rainfall, 40% though north of I-4, where there will be a slightly better chance to see a few light rain showers. Nothing significant, nothing widespread, so don't cancel those St. Patrick's Day plans. Izzy? Thank you, Jason. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app. Take care. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.